Skippy, help! Help, Skippy, help! I'm stuck, Skippy! Oh, my goodness! Why are you so big, Skippy? And yet your face, it's so short. You know, I'm beginning to think you're not Skippy at all. Listen, kid, no, I'm not Skippy. He's on vacay on Kangaroo Island. They've sent me instead. So, do you want to keep questioning my appearance or do you want to be saved? Oh, well, no, I want to be rescued, please. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, jump on my back and we'll skip on out of here or whatever it is this Skippy does. I don't know, I've never seen it. Yeah, that certainly ain't Skippy. But it is a type of kangaroo, just uh, not one you would have seen before. Because it went extinct 40 or so thousand years ago. What? The Cymostenurus occidentalis, or short-faced kangaroo, is a type of megafauna, which, as the name suggests, were huge animals that roamed around Australia tens of thousands of years ago. Creatures like two-ton wombats, six-metre-long crocs, and yeah, really big kangaroos like our short-faced friend, which experts reckon were hanging out all over the place for millions of years. Short-faced kangaroos were, for the last couple of million years, really the most widespread and most successful variety of kangaroo in Australia. How did you even get here? Oh, a group of paleontologists dug me up. You know what they're like, always digging, dig, 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 dig. For the past 10 years, a team of paleontologists and cave enthusiasts have been carefully unearthing a skeleton belonging to a short-faced kangaroo. My name is Tim Ziegler, and this is the fossil skeleton of a Pleistocene extinct kangaroo called Cymostenurus occidentalis. This skeleton was found underground. It's from a cave in East Gippsland near the town of Buchan. Oh, hello. Scary. <laughs> Tim says the discovery is really exciting because it's in pretty good condition and it's one of the most complete skeletons found in a cave in Victoria. Really keep your shoulders down, hug yeah. the rock. Part of the reason this skeleton is so exceptional is that it was in an exceptionally difficult place to reach. It was a protected ledge inside a cave in a vertical shaft covered by boulders that were washing water and sediment away from the bones. Our team had to squeeze ourselves into really unusual shapes and work very carefully right at the extent of our reach. Oh, well done. Short face isn't the only exciting kangaroo find. In fact, just last month, three new species of ancient giant kangaroos were uncovered in Australia and New Guinea. Hi, hi, hello. Did I hear that someone needed saving? Yeah, nah, mate. Don't worry, I've got it sorted. Well, oh, okay. Bye. Well, who was that? Oh, that was just another type of giant kangaroo. Oh, there are more of you. Oh, yeah, heaps. <laughs> Today, the closest thing you'll find to a short-faced kangaroo or any other mega kangaroo is, well, a kangaroo. But the short-faced skeleton will soon be on display at Melbourne Museum, so you can take a look at what would have once been hopping over the country. Well, are you going to help me or not? I'm still stuck. Yeah, yeah, calm your farm. 